St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the late Miss Florence Cox of Halifax, Nova Scotia. While she was alive, she requested that this Mass be said on the third anniversary of her death. Her wishes included that her late sister Louise Glassy and her brother-in-law John Glassy, as well as other deceased family members, be remembered. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Today, the Church celebrates the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart, a solemnity celebrated on the 10th Friday after Easter Sunday. In 2002, Pope John Paul II designated this day as a World Day of Prayer for Priests, his objective being that on this day all Catholic faithful would join in praying for the sanctification of priests. This year, Pope Benedict XVI announced a special year of the priest to begin on this day, the 150th anniversary of the death of the Curie of Ars, St. John Vianney, the patron saint of parish priests. And so, as well as praying for Florence Cox and her petitions, please also remember in your prayers today and throughout the coming year, the priests of the Catholic Church, that we might always strive to be open to God's grace and love in our lives and in our ministry. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. That we may worthily enter into this celebration of the solemnity of the Sacred Heart, we call to mind God's great love for us, and we ask forgiveness for our sins. Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we honor the heart of your Son, broken by our cruelty, yet symbol of love's triumph, pledge of all that we are called to be. Teach us to see Christ in the lives we touch, to offer him living worship by love-filled service of our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Hear the word of the Lord, O people. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the more they went from me. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. I was to them like those who lift an infant to the cheek. I bent down to them and fed them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, O Israel? My heart 
recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my fierce anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and no mortal, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks.